station is constantly in motion. Thousands upon thousands of species living in a mosaic of habitats engage in a dance with our planet's changing chemistry and physics. Scientists can track changes in the ocean every second of every day. Change is nothing new. It's been part of life since life began. For all species, adapting to change is the key to survival. Many marine species spend their entire lives on the move, traveling thousands of miles every year from feeding grounds to breeding grounds and back again. These ancient roots are set by explosions of microscopic plants, triggered by annual changes in sunlight. Light means energy. But when we think of energy, we think of a lot of light, and a lot of fuel, and a lot of energy. Of course, you can't plug the sun into an electrical outlet, at least not directly. But new technologies like thin film solar cells, cellulosic ethanol, wind turbines, and biodiesel fuel from algae are essentially the next best thing to plugging directly into the sun. But the world's biggest fuel users can't get enough. Every day, it's harder and more expensive to move oil and gas around the world. Some big energy consumers have lots of coal, but burning coal fouls the atmosphere. Experts expect global energy demand to increase by at least 50% over the next 20 years. And carbon dioxide emissions could rise by more than 50 In 2030, India will have 200 million cars. China, 300 million. Both nations will be clamoring for more electricity, too. And if it's all fossil fuel, Vehicles, lights, cities, it will burn once and be gone forever. But we have options. What's more, many are renewable, are actually energy rich in terms of their untapped potential. What we do is look for ways to transform that potential energy into practical, renewable energy. After all, we live on an energy plan. This might look like an ordinary stock of grass to you, but to us, it's opportunity. Switchgrass and plants like it are natural aggregators of solar energy. As they grow, plants convert sunlight into energy and store it in their leaves and stems. The trick is to figure out how to turn that green growth to clean, renewable power. It might not be too long before you feel pleased with this. Because really, the fuel in those grass-powered cars is little more than pure sunlight. And that takes us back to the beginning. The ever-present sun leads the way. This is the age of innovation, of enterprise, of imagination. We must transform how we harness and use energy from aging technologies of the past to bold, renewable strategies for the future. And we feast on the tuna. Seafood is the main source of protein for more than one billion people. The natural rhythms of the ocean 
Its chemistry and its biological responses are changing. We once thought that we'd never run out of fish in the sea, but now over-harvesting is decimating many fish populations. Countless more animals are caught unintentionally and discarded, many to die. Some fishing techniques scour the seafloor, destroying habitat. Pollution is creating dead zones where no fish can survive. And looming over all these daily assaults are long-term changes. Ocean temperatures are rising. Seawater is getting more acidic. Changes are happening so quickly that many species may not have enough time to adapt. But if we act now, we can give nature a chance to catch up, to adapt. Concerned consumers are demanding seafood that's harvested or farmed sustainably. Industry is working to end bycatch. Citizens are pushing to reduce coastal pollution and fossil fuel use. And governments at a variety of levels worldwide are creating special places in the ocean for special protection. Nature can catch up, but only if we help. For food, for our livelihoods, for a healthy planet, we need a healthy ocean. Each of us is called on to protect the ocean as if our life depends on it. Because it does. to the degree that it is hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or windy, clear or cloudy. Climate is the sum total of weather for a given region. Extreme weather events should be expected. Globally, many occur every year, taking a huge toll in loss of life and property, often amounting to billions of dollars. The global warming of the past 50 years is due primarily to human activities. Though a warming Earth increase the frequency and intensity of extreme weather-related events of climate change, including extreme weather-related events, is perhaps the primary challenge for this generation. Stabilizing Earth's climate is a longer-term challenge. The longer we delay, the more challenging it becomes.